Crews are searching a Kansas reservoir for an 11-year-old boy whose father and uncle drowned during a hunting trip. Their boat capsized Saturday in the John Redmond Reservoir in Coffee County, Kansas. That's about 100 miles southwest of Kansas City, and that's where Chris Hernandez joins us live with the latest. Chris? Well, Elizabeth and Mark, this has been a very somber search here at Redmond Reservoir. The boats are just coming off the water at this hour because it is starting to get dark. But the people who are searching have promised to come back day after day until they find the person they're looking for. It's an 11-year-old boy, and we want to show you a picture of him. His name is Jeremy Jenkins. He drowned Saturday morning. He had come here to the lake with his father, Jason Jenkins, and an uncle, 22-year-old Clint Yeager. Now, they had all planned to go duck hunting, but their boat apparently Apparently capsized in the choppy water. It was very windy Saturday morning. The waves were as much as two foot high out here. Now, this is the third day of searching, and family members came here this afternoon to see for themselves. We talked with the missing boy's grandmother, who says everyone is still in shock. Okay, and we want to show you here um, also some of these are the boats that are out there. There are have been ten boats on the water. Five have sonar, and then five are just along to pair up for safety reasons. They certainly don't want to repeat of anything like what happened Saturday, although you can tell today that the water is very clear, very still. Uh, one thing about this lake, it's a very shallow lake. But they're having a problem finding the body because they don't really know where the boat capsized. There were no witnesses whatsoever. They're just basically going on information from relatives who had come out duck hunting previously with him and, know, and knew where he put in the boat and where they might have been going to set up to go hunting and kind of going with the wind and the wave pattern. So they have been searching much of the lake in a grid pattern, but no sign of the little boy. The two adult bodies had been found Saturday afternoon by a passerby. Uh, reporting live in Coffee County, Chris Hernandez, NBC Action News.